Today, I'm going to show you how to make delicious ikuru and ikuru sauce. A lot of you might not know what this is, but this is a special meal. Sometimes it is said to be the food of the gods. It is so yummy. If you try it once, you will have it all the time. And the recipe is really, really simple, simpler than you think. So if you're interested, keep watching and I'll show you how to cook ikuru. For this recipe, you will need beans. Before we even start, let me say that ikuru is as simple as moi moi. It is basically moi moi without using all the ingredients. So I'm using white beans, which is black eye beans today. You can use honey beans, but I prefer it with white beans because I feel like that is the more authentic ikuru. So what I'm just doing is picking the beans, <laughs> taking out all the dirt because you don't want any stone in your ikuru pudding and then after selecting I'm going to peel the beans I've showed you this hack so many times all you do is put beans in water you don't need to soak it just put the beans in water I use the opportunity to just rinse it out and then you put it in a blender that's all and then pulse and you will see that your beans will be cooked Just turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. And that's all you need to do for about, let's say, a minute or two till you can see that the beans is peeled. Once the beans is peeled, I'm going to run it through water and just sieve it. So that's just the simple process of peeling beans. If this is your first time hearing of the meal called Ekuru, then click the like button and also leave a comment. If you love Ekuru, also click the like button <laughs> and leave me a comment telling me about your love for ikuru. I love this recipe so much. It is so, so delicious. It is one of those recipes that are not common, but the people that know it know how amazing it is. If you're looking for like more Nigerian recipes, inspo, meal ideas, I have a six month menu planner that has so many Nigerian recipes in it and it will inspire you to cook something nice for your family especially if you cannot you know think up of ideas every day you guys it is a long process thinking of what to cook breakfast lunch dinner for all your life <laughs> so i have a six months planner i also have a cookbook and you can access this through the description box there's a link in the description box i need to take you to my cookbook which is digital you get it straight to your phone and you download now i soaked the beans as you can see it is like bigger because it is swollen i soaked it for about seven hours i made it in the morning and i soaked it all day and when i go back i continued with the recipe i'm just transferring the soaked beans to a processor you can use a blender but your processor makes it easier for you because if you use your blender after blending the beans you need to then mix with your hand to make it fluffy but with your processor you just put your beans add a bit of water it will blend the beans and it would whip it up so your beans will already be fluffy and you don't need to do that extra work just watch and see As you can see my beans is fluffy and it has been whipped and blended and I'm just transferring it to a bowl. You don't need to add anything to this ikuru, you don't need to add salt, onion, nothing, no pepper, nothing. You're just going to now fold it in leaves like moi moi. So these are moi moi leaves and I'm going to use them to fold or hold my ikuru. If you don't have moi moi leaves you can put it in a 
baking tray or you can use like cupcake tins and you can bake it in the oven or cook it on the stove top. this is just the simple process of wrapping the leaves if you guys remember my market haul i got the leaves from my local market if you've not watched that video go and check it out it was such a lovely video and so many people like it so i folded the leaves now and i'm just going to pour my beans my blended beans in it you guys that's all you need to do it is that simple if you want more recipes from me please this is the moment you need to click that subscribe button if you haven't and if you're subscribed already thank you so much but you need to do one more thing you need to click the bell button so that anytime I release a video you get to see the recipes straight to your email okay so please click the notification bell button Now that I'm done folding and wrapping my beans, I'm going to transfer them to my moi moi pot. So this is a pot that is a steamer. So it has the steamer basket and then the pot section under. I use it for moi moi and I've showed you in so many videos. Put the kuru on top and I'm just going to fill the bottom half of the pot with water. Take it to the cooker and then allow it to steam. While it is steaming, we are going to face the ekuru sauce. So this is the sauce that makes this dish amazing. Because remember, we didn't put any seasoning in the bean, so it would just be plain. For my pepper mix, I have tatashe, atarodo, and shombo, and I also have tomatoes. So I'll first of all blend the pepper mixture, then I'll add tomatoes just bit by bit. This is what is going to make the sauce. I'm using the processor to blend it because I don't want it to be smooth, I just want it to have a bit of texture. This is the fish I'm using for this recipe and this is one of my favorite fishes to use to cook. It is manla fish, it is smoked manla fish it gives a lot of flavor to anything you put it in i use it for a foriro and some other vegetable stews and i really really like it so what i'm doing is deboning it some people like to put the whole fish inside but me i'm like see we have to remove the bones and the intestines i'm not that kind of person so i'll take out everything and then wash it now it's time to make the sauce. In a pan, I'm adding some palm oil. You need palm oil because it's going to give it that orange color that you need to eat the ekuru with. I'm going to add some onion when the oil is hot and I'm going to just fry this for a few seconds. This is locust beans aka iru this one doesn't smell bad and i love it so much i didn't used to like iru like a long time ago but that's because i didn't know the iru that was perfect for me <laughs> this is the iru i love and i use next i'm going to add my washed and deboned banla fish and i'm just going to mix everything together let it fry together it releases so much more flavor when you do it this way next i'm going to add the tomato pepper mixture and i'm going to allow it fry for just a bit After a few minutes, I'm going to add some diced pomo because I want the pomo to cook in the sauce. You know when you take a bite of pomo and you can feel the sauce inside the pomo? Uh -huh. That is what is going to be. Next, I'm adding some salt to season and some crayfish stock powder. 
and you guys that's all it don't finish but see this is one of the tastiest sauces you can make and it is spicy so make sure you put a lot of pepper because you know that beans is bland so the heat from the sauce and the deliciousness of the fish and the pomo combined is just what will make our ekuru amazing this is the ekuru after we finish cooking it or steaming it and you just peel it out serve it on a plate and this is your ekuru sauce this is such a fantastic sauce you can have it with yam rice anything as you can see there's salt on this side remember we did not put salt in the ekuru some people like to sprinkle some salt on it but i don't because my sauce is very very flavorful and can carry the ekuru this was a delicious recipe i hope you try it if you do please tag me on social media i would love to see it please subscribe and turn on that bell notification so that whenever i release a recipe you are the first to see it thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video bye